Hey guys, today I got a video on exiting your game. So you're going to be able to press a key and it's going to quit the game. Or if you want to go through the process of setting up an exit button or a menu, you can do that. It's it's the same uh, line of code. Uh, if you watched my cursor tutorial where we uh, hit it and locked it and you see it didn't work, it's because we wrote cursor here. And that's also a function that we're trying to call, but it's really just grabbing the class name. So we can close in here if you need to fix it. We're going to rename it to interaction. Wow, interaction. Then it's going to say this doesn't exist if we try to save it. So just rename it. Then once you open it, you must change it right here. And once you save that, these down here will go away. Perfect. Uh, we don't have to worry about that. We're not running a server. Um, so, we're just going to use the same script here. And we'll do it after this stuff. So, if this is very simple. If input dot get key down, and I like using escape, so that'd be key code dot escape. Should be that anyway. Didn't try to finish it for me, so. And this is uh, real simple here. Application dot quit. That's all there is to it. Usually this would highlight blue. I don't know why it's not. Uh, but it's not going to throw us any errors. Yes, it will. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's a lower KC. Unity hates me. <laughs> key code. Why does key code not even show up? Input's not highlighting either. We didn't close something off more than likely. It closes the update function, so that's fine. input so that's not an option anymore input dot get key down key code dot all right well what did it just do So do we have too many of these or something? No. Goes to that one. Then this one should. Yeah, everything's closed off properly. This is ended. This is ended. We'll do it up here. If input dot get key down key code dot escape. Application dot quit. <laughs> it works just because I moved it. Interesting, but if we go here, we type in key code. If input dot key code or get key down key code dot space, it always starts with a capital letter, so key code dot escape. 
Oh, we gotta type it out. Okay. Don't make fun of me. Maybe I should look this stuff up before, uh... Of course, that fixes everything. Now, in the editor, um, I'm not really gonna be able to show you this, so... I'm gonna build and run. What is he complaining about? Oh. Oh. Okay, okay. Well, what we just built and ran is not going to work because we have to drag this over here. Perfect. Now we control B for uh, build and run. Cool. Glad I read that. It's about to look stupid. Probably already do. But you see, we can look around, we can walk around. Our curse is hidden, remember? Press F1, it comes back. We press escape. Closed. Give us our cursor back, too. But. There's another thing we can do. Um, I'll show you this as well. You go here, make a new scene, call it whatever you want. Uh, boring scene. Cool. Now we go over here in the build settings. And we drag the main into here. And the boring scene. Now, uh, make sure you pay attention to these numbers at the end. So, um, we'll go back into the interaction script, right? If input dot get key down key code dot f two application dot load level, I believe it is. And I think you can just type an integer like that. But one was our boring scene. That's that's the scene we just made. Let's see if it throws us any errors. It does not. Uh, this one should work inside the editor. And in our boring scene, yeah, we'll save it. Why not? We'll uh, we'll just put like a cube in front of the camera so we know it worked. We'll also drop that red material on it. So in our game scene, that's what we're going to see. Move this. It's not centered. Cool. I guess we'll uh, center that too. Perfect. So if we see this, we know it worked. We'll go back to our original scene. And since we don't have... Uh, since we don't have our player dragged into the other scene, you're not going to be able to get back. We press F2. There we go. It loaded this scene. Press F2 again. Doesn't work. F1. Doesn't work. Escape. Doesn't work. And notice our, uh, our mouse and cursor is still hidden. So, yeah, you definitely don't want to do this unless you also set up a script in the other scene. Or I'm sure there's some way to check what level uh, you're currently on. But, uh, yeah, that's about all there is to it. That's how you change scenes, and you can have as many as you want. And that's about it for this video. See you guys in the next one.